All right, today's video is brought to us by Little Debbie Swiss Rolls. And these are the strawberry variety. These are excellent. Kind of a seasonal Swiss roll. But today we're going to look at a new holster for the Ruger Wrangler. And it is the DeSantis Gunhide Wild Hog Ambidextrous for the Ruger Wrangler with a 4 and 5 eighths inch barrel. Also fits the Heritage Rough Rider with the 4 and 3 quarter. And let's see. This is good. It is made in 431 Bayview Avenue, Amityville. Sounds ominous. And that's New York. That's USA made. So that's good. It gives you a phone number you can call if you have any problems. And let's take a look at this holster. So it's nicely stamped with the DeSantis logo. One is that a one one eight nine nine zero made in USA? That's good. So it's ambidextrous. It's got slots on both sides. And the one thing I really liked about this, it's got a slot for the hammer right there, which secures it, uh, especially on a single action. Can't move that with a strap there. And you can also take the strap off if you want. So that's a nice feature. It fits really good. Plenty of coverage for the muzzle right there. Extends about a half an inch beyond the muzzle. It's a good holster. And it's made in the USA. And the second part of this video is about the snap caps that I bought. I bought a bunch of these uh, snap caps from, let's see. I can't remember the brand name. Oh yeah, they're Packmeyer. Packmeyer snap caps. And after only a few snaps, you can see that this one already broke. There's the head, it jammed up the cylinder. I had to take it apart. It wasn't hard to take out, but that should not have happened. That's these are hard plastic and they're not gonna last very long. So these Packmeyer snap caps are pretty useless. I'm just going to get some metal ones. And the other part of this video is about the number 10. This is the number 10. Or my 10th postal counter lock. And that has been used. Let's see. Oh yeah, this has only been turned 89 times. So it's very pretty unused. And it's an older one because it's got that star stamp on the shackle. It's pretty abused. It's got a lot of uh, dents and dings in it. But they throw these things around a lot. I'm only going to open this, probably keep it under 100 but let's see if I can get into this really fast. Like I said before, it's a three pin lock and the pins are way down there. And that is open already. And we're going to go from 89 to 90. So that is number 10 of my postal locks. And I don't have a key yet for these, but I think I might have found one. So that might be a video. So yeah, I'm enthusiastic about this holster and 10 Made in USA postal registered locks. Definitely worthy of a little bit of cowbell. Knuckle bomb.